local, late breaking. This is WDSU News This Morning. Thanks for waking up with us on WDSU News this Saturday morning. I'm Aubrey Killian. We'll get to those headlines in just a moment. Breaking news, JPSO says a Marrero man is dead. That's after he was shot in the head overnight. And turning now to the black and gold, we are just a few days away from the official start of the Saints season. You can check out all sorts of fun. Everything from the Beignet Fest is going on. That's over at City Park. It begins at 10 a.m. And then the Oktoberfest, too. That's going to be at Bayou St. John. It's happening today at 1 o'clock. But, Damon, like you mentioned, be warned, mm. it is going to be a hot one. Damon, as we take a live Good look shot. outside, awesome shot of the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. <laughs> You know, Damien, everybody loves the way you say Superdome. Can you, can, <laughs> can you give us one real quick? Superdome. There you yeah, go. Absolutely. Like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> that boil water advisory has actually been lifted. So good news there. So that was for the lower nine and sections of New Orleans East. So uh, again, that has been lifted by the Sewage and Water Board if you are in that impacted area. How are you, Clarence? I haven't uh, seen you in a while. Doing fine. Doing fine. Took a break. <laughs> so we're back at it now. <laughs> and a lot of people forget. So when they see Zulu, they think, the parade, and yeah. that's not the case. Y'all do no. so many things in the community. Right. Only on six, a disabled survivor of a shocking abuse case breaking her silence. Danielle Pierre was abused physically and mentally by her own family, and this morning those relatives are behind bars, now giving her the freedom to finally tell her story. This morning we're following breaking news. Six people shot overnight in New Orleans. One of the victims has died. And this morning, police need your help finding a missing girl. Take a look at your screen. This is 16 year old Emma Pierce. In just a few hours, explosives will bring these cranes down. That says they could collapse at any second. Crews, they are expected to begin a demo on the two cranes on the construction site. WDSU reporter Heath Allen joins us live this morning with the latest details. Good morning. OK, so when people might be hearing this, they're kind of like, OK, what's going on? Kind of explain y'all's organization and the event that's getting ready to start in just a couple hours. So Jefferson Parish President Mike Genny doing an exclusive live interview with us right now. So let's get straight to it. Sure. So would you ever run again or play a role in any public office that's, again? That's certainly up to God. Is it safe to say a lot, you know, you, you say people forgot about it, but I, I think a lot of people have not forgot about it. Do you feel that you let the parish down with this texting scandal? I, I, I don't know if they, they forgot about it. I think they've moved on from it. You're banned from schools, Jefferson Parish schools, and you're able to come on recreational property. What would you say to parents that feel you shouldn't be here right now if you could talk to them? I have never violated my boundaries with anybody. Take a look at this tree over here. It came crashing down on this home right behind me. The damage is pretty incredible. I spoke with the family who was inside at the time. They're thanking God that nobody was killed. Mr. Williams, did you want to comment on the, the latest restitution hearing? No comment. What about all the victims, though, involved in this case? Does, does Nikisha Washington have any remorse for them at all? Or? No comment. But I mean, think about the victims that are involved in this. They, they want to hear from her. Hey guys, the crowds out here are absolutely incredible and phenomenal. I can barely hear you right now, but just take a look. I'm going to put you in the moment. Uh, this is what New Orleans, Louisiana is all no, about. I'm in the middle of it with you. <laughs> so there's no question, this is just an amazing day. And tell us, what did Leah Chase mean to you? She means everything, New Orleans, Creole, everything, my food, everything I grew up with. She's a family friend, she's a mentor to me, and this is the kind of day New Orleans is made for. Absolutely. Leah Chase. <laughs> so I no question, Leah. locals, everybody is excited. You know, I'm born and raised in New Orleans, and this is something that makes it so genuine and 